With FL Studio and other DAWs, sometimes you run into the issue of third-party plugins come up too small or too large. Um, so in this case, I'm looking at FL Studio 20, and I just ordered uh, these plugins off of Isotope, and you can see they're coming in too small. Um, so I'm going to show you how to fix that real quick, just so that you know. There are general settings in your options menu for scaling. So we're at legacy scaling 300 right now. You can change this if you do want to do custom scaling. Uh, but just in terms of solving this problem, um, the, really the solution is to go to your Windows Explorer and you can see that when we come to this PC, C drive, program files 86, image line FL Studio 20, that there's multiple options of the application for FL Studio. There's an FL and then there's FL scaled. And now if you look down here at my desktop, I actually have things running 64 bit. So it's FL 64 scaled and FL 64. As long as you installed FL Studio uh, completely at the get-go, when you go into Program Files 86, Image Line, and FL Studio 20, or whatever version you're on, you will have both the regular and the scaled versions of FL Studio. So let's just open up uh, FL 64 scaled, 64-bit scaled here, and we're gonna go back to the mixer. We're going to uh, pull in that same plugin that I was looking at before, which was Isotope Nectar 3. And it's probably going to give me an error message because I'm missing a couple things. We'll close out of that. No, I don't want to do that. And you can see there is Nectar 3 at the regular size. So for all your third party plugins that are coming in at the wrong size, by opening FL Studio in the scaled version, that should solve the problem.